Hi there, it's Rob Sayer. Welcome to a short screencast uh, in the next in our series on doing stage lighting uh, design in 2D using AutoCAD. Uh, in this video, we're just going to briefly look at um, how you would create a, a library of, of fixtures, uh, symbols, and, and data and attributes um, so that you can use them in multiple drawings. So, going over, over to AutoCAD, uh, what I've got here um, is a series of blocks. So each of these blocks represents a different lantern type, but the, each of them has been uh, created as a block. You can see how they have um, all of the attributes that we set in previous videos. So basically this is a sim called DWG that we've um, created. Now uh, when we've created uh, blocks in the drawing, obviously we can easily insert another um, uh, another block from the, from the drawing itself. So that's because these blocks themselves are currently living in this drawing. What we really want to do is we want to be able to use um, this uh, block itself um, in uh, multiple drawings. Uh, this, uh, and so what we need to do is basically make ourselves a library. So if you spend some time either gathering together all of your lantern types, setting your attributes, setting your layers, doing all those things, good bits good, good of housekeeping, um, you'll want to make up a library. Now, in AutoCAD, uh, the place to find that is in the content uh, library. So, uh, if you don't have this little content window that I've got at the moment, um, if it's uh, not there, uh, you can pull it up by um, going into your command line and typing up content, and it should give you your content library back. Now, uh, basically, if you go to the uh, right hand uh, icon on the library, you're looking for a thing called Manage Libraries, which looks like a little sort of uh, finder or a file manager. If you click on that, you'll see here we've got blocks in the current drawing, and so those are the current blocks that we've got in this drawing at the moment. There's just some, um, there's the things that we can see on screen here. What we want to do is we want to make ourselves a new library in this particular uh, installation in AutoCAD. So the libraries are down here on the left, so I'm going to make a new library and I'm going to do it, call it my lighting library or something. You can obviously create different libraries with different uses. Uh, so I've created a new library, um, but there's nothing in this library at the moment. Uh, then obviously on the right hand side is the blocks are in the library, and what I need to do now is uh, I need to find the file that these blocks actually live in. And, and in this case, this particular file that I've got open on my screen uh, is, is down here in my finder. So I add those blocks. And then it says, um, this drawing is one block, or this drawing contains multiple blocks. There's multiple blocks in this drawing, and we want to use them as individuals, so I need to put them in as individual blocks. Now, what that's done now is it's given me this library, which has got all of these blocks uh, here. So the point of that is that when we close this uh, down, close the library down, if I were to open, uh, start a new drawing, um, I'll start it just a basic um, ISO drawing. Now if I wanted to say add some lanterns to this drawing, or maybe this was a, a venue that's already in place and I need to add lanterns to it, whatever, uh, I basically can go into my content uh, look in the content browser, it says at the moment it says blocks in the current drawing. Now, because this is a blank drawing, there's no blocks in here. What I need to do is I need to look down until I find my library. So in this case, it's my lighting library. If I open that up, um, I can then insert, by double-clicking, I can insert the block itself um, and fill in the details and the data and everything else. You'll see there that that um, lantern has come into the drawing. We could obviously set the data. We can do the rotational thing that we, we, we looked at in the previous video. That's all cool. Um, the only other thing that we need to really understand, uh, to understand how the library works, is now that this block now also lives in the drawing itself. So I can edit it by using the block editor. I can also... Um, look at it, if I look in the blocks in current drawing, you can see this block still sort of exists in the drawing, if you like, so I can click it in. Um, the thing at the moment is we don't see the other blocks. Now, they don't appear in the drawing until we actually insert them into the drawing themselves. So, say I'll take this par, put it in position. Um, that's in that now in the drawing, so if I look in the blocks in current drawing, you'll see we've got the par in. The other interesting thing that you might want to know is that you don't actually, the blocks still exist in the drawing even if they're not drawn in model space once they've been pulled in. So if I want to delete that block, 
And you'll see it stays in the drawing, even though it's actually nowhere to be seen in my model space. That's because the blocks live sort of um, attached to the file, if you like. So there is actually a way of getting rid of blocks in the drawing. So if you don't particularly uh, want, say I didn't want this pile, there's no piles in the drawing, I want to tidy up my DWG, I don't want that block in there. There is actually a way of doing it. And the command is purge. If you hit purge, you'll see a, 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 an a object called blocks. And then it suggests the name of blocks. Now I'm going to use the uh, wildcard asterisk, um, verify name of each block to be purged. Yes, par 16 birdie. Yes, I want to purge that one. And so basically that then makes that block come out of the drawing file completely. So just to recap then, uh, your original content uh, library is managed through the, uh, this manager here. You'll need to add yourself a new library or select the existing library. Add your blocks from a current drawing. In my case, my uh, drawing, my a load of my blocks were in one single drawing, which was this one here. And then, when you come to insert them, you just insert them in the usual way uh, by doing an insert. And there you are, usual sort of thing. So have a go with that. Um, what happens normally when you start to use AutoCAD for lighting? Uh, design is you end up building up the libraries, building up the uh, symbols and the attributes and various things like that in order to make it kind of a workable system for you. So have a go with that and I'll see you soon.